Welcome to the International Stroke Conference 2022. And I'm here with my vice chair, Dr. Tudor Joven, and we're just gonna hit some of the highlights of what we've seen today. Um, today has been a fantastic day. And in fact, yesterday was a fantastic day. Yesterday we had both the nursing symposium and our heads up symposium, both of which were very well attended. We had some great sessions this morning, and in our opening session, we heard three fantastic presentations um, about some of the most cutting edge stroke care. Was there one of them that really stood out for you? Well, I mean, they're all, uh, they're all uh, unique and uh, made a great contribution in, in their own way. Uh, first of all, I must say it was so refreshing to see the audience full, right? Uh, finally, we're, it, 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 it feels like we're slowly going back to normal. Uh, so that was wonderful to hear the audience applauding and, and things like that. Um, and uh, I, I thought that the uh, large court trial uh, was a really important uh, uh, advancement in, in our uh, knowledge about whom to select uh, for thrombectomy. Uh, it may, may be that it's another one of these myths that are going to fall uh, of, uh, of us having the, this preconceived notion that uh, uh, treating large cores may be dangerous or, or detrimental. Uh, I would say that that's a bit uh, premature to draw con conclusions. We have to uh, wait uh, for results of ongoing trial. But I think, uh, as you actually said it, uh, a great victory for uh, thrombectomy uh, after uh, a few years of, uh, of silence. So we, we, were, we were getting addicted to more, uh, exactly. more uh, positive news from thrombectomy. And so it that was very positive. And that will be out in the New England Journal of Medicine if you want to read the details about that trial. Absolutely. But I think it does add um, a significant nuance to who and when we can treat people. And I thought the periodontal disease talk was extremely important for premieres. The, the periodontal uh, study, of course, uh, I must say, as an interventionalist, uh, I love the interventional trials, but uh, this really addresses a much larger population and um, uh, raises awareness of uh, aspects of stroke care that we don't really think about. And uh, I, I uh, think that even, uh, if, even though the study was negative, it, it looks like it was underpowered. I think uh, it was a question of yes. size, but even with that small size, there was perhaps a signal, there and clearly signals. it's better than um, historic controls. What did you think, as an interventionalist, of the final talk this morning? Um, a, a very important topic. Um, I don't think we've heard the, the last word on, on this uh, topic. Uh, it was a negative trial. Uh, it, it does clarify a lot of the questions that we have uh, as to should we improve the microcirculation uh, following thrombectomy. Uh, this, the answer today was no, uh, but there are some signals of subgroups that, that may benefit. Uh, and I must say tomorrow we will hear another uh, trial that addresses uh, a similar question uh, with a different uh, drug and that is TPA. So clearly, uh, to me, that, that tells me that we're kind of realizing that uh, just looking and seeing the big vessel being open uh, and ev or even angiographically normal perfusion is uh, not something that we necessarily need to rely on, that there's, uh, the, there's, there's a lot more nuances to that. And we're realizing that targeting the microcirculation uh, maybe a, a promising approach uh, in the future. Yeah, I do think that will probably be that next frontier. Now we've got the big vessels, what happens downstream? And it did seem like there was a bit of an efficacy signal in those with atherosclerosis. So I think it goes back to patient selection as well. Correct. And what, you know, really kind of personalizing each person's management, which sometimes you may have to do in the moment that you're actually doing the intervention. I also think we have a lot of fantastic science coming up even this afternoon with our uh, said talks and we also will have game of strokes tomorrow which is always a fan favorite anything else you're looking forward to Tudor? I, mean, I, I, I must say uh, there were some really really timely and and uh, important talks topics this morning 
Um, there, uh, of course, uh, the um, uh, question of uh, who should train in interventional, what certification pathways are, and um, how neurologists, uh, what are the best uh, ways for neurologists to, to train. That was, of course, a joint session with the uh, Society of Vascular and Interventional Neurology. Uh, there were some fascinating talks on recovery. Uh, again, I, I think that um, we are moving a bit more towards le less uh, away, a bit away from the shiny thrombectomy, acute stroke uh, area, and more into the recovery realm. We're starting to pay more attention to the long-term sequelae of stroke that are, were very nicely outlined in. Uh, the, uh, the the recovery um, uh, session today, um, great uh, imaging talks, a basic science uh, session. Great basic science with, session with, uh, this morning. That that uh, that the, the said talk uh, that I'm looking forward to. I think we're moderating. We're moderating our, yes, that this exactly. afternoon. So hopefully yeah. we'll see a lot of you there. So I'm really looking forward to the rest of the day today, as well as some of our highlights from tom tomorrow's uh, session. I believe there's a couple uh, trials um, that are looking at TNK dosing and other uh, another late breaker. Yes, maybe the, you could just mention the Shabli T uh, coming out of uh, China compares uh, two doses of TNK in patients uh, selected uh, based on perfusion imaging for IV thrombolysis plus minus endovascular. Uh, this is a phase one trial, really aims to look at the right dose and look for some signals of benefit. Uh, and then the uh, randomized uh, trial of intra-arterial TPA following thrombectomy, the CHOICE trial um, that will be presented tomorrow at, uh, at the uh, plenary session. Um, so very exciting science. Um, and uh, tomorrow we have a game of strokes. I love the game of One strokes. Of your it's my favorite. Yeah. It's uh, like stroke I, jeopardy. I love that too. Um, <laughs> and plus, plus m numerous uh, other exciting cutting edge sessions focused on uh, acute treatment, imaging, uh, prevention, really uh, neurosurgical approaches. Uh, critical care, some COVID related, uh, really the whole, the gamut. whole gamut of, the of whole cerebral gamut. vascular disease. The spectrum. So we're really looking forward to this afternoon sessions as well as tomorrow's sessions. And so far, so good and so good to see everybody in person. Even the weather is cooperating. Even the weather is cooperating. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys around the convention center. Thank you.